excited to visit right now with a very funny comedian from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, actually from Minnesota, but lives in Sioux Falls now. Nathan Holtz, how are you, sir? I'm so well. So well, they put it together and I'm just swell. And that is awesome. And we are so excited because coming up next week, the 16th, you've got a huge event, live and local event at the Washington Pavilion. Yeah. And this is in addition to just an awesome show at the Pavilion. It's also an opportunity for you to record your first special? Is this your first special ever? Yes, this will be my first recording, uh, professional recording of a stand-up comedy show. I am so excited for you. I think this is really cool. And and let's talk a little bit about Live and Local because this is a neat thing that mm-hmm. they mentioned it about this time last year. They said, hey, we got this idea. We don't know how it's going to go. Anybody interested in doing this? And they had a lot of people interested. And Four times they're expected. About yeah. It. And, and and right now, by the way, they're looking for people for next year. So yeah. if you're going, hey, I'd like to do this too, you, you have till the end of this month to yeah. get signed up. Um, but y- you guys, they saved the best for last. You're the final, the final live and local of the first season. And uh, it's you and a few others. So tell me a little bit about the event. It's, it's uh, Zach Dresch as well. The wonderful, the fantastic, the marvelous of Zach Dresch. And then uh, Joey Columbia, who is a fantastic juggler. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's kind of a you know if you're if you're you're looking for a couple things to do on a Thursday night, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be one heck of an event. Yeah, it's coming up next Thursday the sixteenth, and if you'd like to get tickets, get them soon because I think it's gonna be sold out. That I hope so. Uh, I, I, I think hope, it'll do real well. WashingtonPavilion.org. Yeah. Um, and if you go check for the live and local, and also yeah. uh, Joey Columbi, uh, Zach Dresch, and Nathan Holtz. And it's going to be a really, really good show. Now, you have been doing stand up comedy how long? Uh, 13 years this month. And do, where was the very first place you ever did stand up comedy? At the theater in Augustana. Okay. In front of 320 people. And were you going to school there at the time? I was, yep. I studied uh, acting. In at Augustana, and when I started, I did improv comedy. Okay, right, which is like whose line is it anyway? Yeah. You know that kind of stuff, sketches and stuff like that. And then uh, I was a bad student, so I was <laughs> stuck there for an extra couple of years. And so all my friends that I would make funny with uh, yeah. were leaving. I was like, I got to figure out how to do this by myself. Yeah, and so I took an independent study. Okay. For stand-up comedy, because I was always interested in it. Yeah. There's a picture of me when I was uh, nine. I did a caricature at the Mall of America. Yeah. And all I could talk about was becoming a professional rollerblader. Okay. And uh, doing stand-up comedy. And so yeah. there's a there's a caricature of me at nine yeah. doing stand-up comedy. On rollerblades? No. no okay. <laughs> they skipped. I, and I remember leaving the caricature. I was like, that I, was like I really wanted... I want. I wanted to be a rollerblader, <laughs> and, and my mom was like, "You only talked about doing impressions." Yeah. <laughs> Were you doing impressions? For I was the guy? doing impressions. Yeah, I think I had a, a you know Arnold Schwarzenegger at the time, <laughs> which awesome. is great in a nine year old voice. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. bet. <laughs> no. I'll be back. <laughs> He's like, sure you will, kid. <laughs> I was a soprano at the time. So uh, I am a huge fan. I'm a big fan of of, Nate of Arnold Schwarzenegger of you oh, of okay. Nate Holtz. No, I and and here's the thing: we get a chance to work together quite a bit. Yeah. So so I know him not only as a guy on the on the stage telling jokes, but I know him as a friend as well. And when you fall in love with him because of his act on stage, and you know you you're just such a genuine guy. He's a very funny guy. Once you get to know him, you realize that's all fake. He's not a nice guy. I'm, no, I'm, just I'm kidding. a complete brick. <laughs> no, he's he's a great guy. You're a great dude. And and we've had a chance to spend some time together on the road, mm-hmm. and and uh, again, I've probably spent way more time with him than he would like. So just no, I, I never more, stop talking. I need more John Small. I would like to tell my stories every once in a while. Yeah, <laughs> Nate's like, well, it's been a fun nine hour trip. So can I say something now? <laughs> but no, Nate Nate is a hilarious dude, and if you don't already have your tickets, I encourage you to get the tickets. And the comedy special, when this is done, do you already know like when that, how long will it take to get that finished? Um, it, it, it'll depend on uh, distribution. Um, if So so the, the process, normally what they'll do is somebody will pay you to do one of these. Yeah. And so what I'm, I'm trying to flip it, I'm trying to do it and then sell it afterwards. And yeah. so um, it may never come out on a publication. I could just self-release it. Um, yeah. We don't have any idea. We're going to, we're going to try to find out, make sure it's 
everything I want yeah. before I before I start committing to a, a release schedule. But there we go. For sure, I will have a stand-up comedy album. Nice. So whether the video will be released f- as a full video special is yet to be seen. But for sure, I will have a comedy CD. Very nice. Now, there are people who know you for stand-up comedy, but there's others who might know you from being in some movies as well. Yeah. Because you are an actor. I'm an actor. And now, what are some of the films that you... Because a lot of these are films that are done in this area, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've done um, I've done a lot of stuff. Like the Last Stop CD Shop series yeah. is is getting pretty close to airing. I don't think I can give okay. too many details <laughs> so about we, that. We won't, say, we won't say any more than that. But uh, <laughs> it's, a t- it's a television show kind yeah. of based at Last Stop CD Shop. Nice. Uh, it's definitely based at Last Stop. Yeah. It's not even kinda. It's yes. for sure based on Last Stop CD Shop, and that's a that's a full like ten episode nice. uh, television show. Yeah. That we it's I it's kind of like High Fidelity and Clerks. Yeah. You know, uh, with a little bit of The Office sprinkled about. Very nice. Um, it was a it was a really fun project to work on, and I, I was super excited to be included. Yeah. You know, uh, that was a lot of fun. I I just shot. Uh, a feature film that just I just got the the trailer, oh. which is not to be released yet. But uh, okay. I'm very very excited about it. it All is, these things are coming soon. It is the most offensive movie I've ever been a part oh, of. Wow, it's very offensive. Why? And and I don't normally like offensive comedy yeah. or anything like this. But this was this was just it was such a villain. Okay, uh, and I and I couldn't. It was a juicy villain. You just get to be a juicy villain. The worst person. Yeah, I cannot wait to see this. Yeah, yeah. Because he's such a nice guy. I can't imagine you as a villain. It was. It's. It's truly. It's it's a what is it? Uh, blind confidence. Okay, is a person who exudes blind confidence nice. despite having zero uh, <laughs> evidence. Uh, so, <laughs> well, you've got a lot of reasons to have confidence. Yeah, so. but so, this guy, th- I, this it was uh, that was with a, a, a Kyle Rogers, who's a, okay. a good friend of mine from Augie, and we've been doing a lot of projects together. Very and I also nice. got to work on Dust of War with um, Tony Todd, Doug Jones. Nice. Um, Graham, uh, the I forget his last name, but he's on Star Trek. And then uh, I also got to work with Alan Ruck. Oh yeah, on a short film called Destroyer. Nice. And uh, Judith Hogue. I don't oh, know if you know Judith cool. Hogue. Yeah. April O'Neil. Yeah, yeah. And she was also in Nashville. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah, so I got, got a to, I've to got, do some fun things. Got to do some really cool things. I've been, I've been pretty pretty blessed and lucky to yeah. be to have lived the life and I have and and. and and the cool thing is, on the 16th, you get a chance to see him on stage. And I love this style of comedy because you tell stories. Yeah. You know, it's not like set up punchline, set up punchline, set up punchline. You There's know, some it, of those. There is, definitely. Yeah. But but I love like the long form where you've got stories. You literally reel people in and it just it gets better and it gets better and it gets better and it just kind of builds to this crescendo. And then it's like, oh, that was the best. So... I'm a big fan, and I'm Thank excited you. to see you on the 16th. Thank you for joining us in the studio. Thank today. you. I say us. It's me. I'm here by myself. Yeah. So, oh, hey, hi, Heidi. Thank you so even, much for being she's here. She's not hanging out. We're yeah. going to pretend she's here, but she's not here. She, she's over on the mixer. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, just you know. Can you speak a little louder, please? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for being here, Nate. <laughs> no, thank you very much for stopping in. I appreciate it a bunch. Thank you. Nathan Holtz. If you'd like to get tickets, I've got a link to that. Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy. And you go there, you're going to see all the details on this show and other shows in the area. And again, Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy. The event is next Thursday, the 16th of May. It's at the Washington Pavilion. All the details one last time. Facebook.com slash Sioux Falls Comedy.